I've installed linear guide rails a couple times and in my opinion they can be a bit of a pain to get straight and because they are deceivingly uh, able to warp in places that you didn't expect that they were. They feel really solid when you're holding them and it seems like if you just put it on getting it level from one end to the other or just using the two screws on the end that everything would be square but every piece of metal has a little bit of flex uh, under gravity especially long and thin pieces of metal so um, I'm gonna show you something you can do uh, hopefully you're able to do this with your installation um, so that is to have a jig that you can use to square it with a, a reference point somewhere on your machine. So in this case, the reference point is the top of the aluminum extrusion. And this jig will fix the rail at a certain height, at a consistent height all the way across. So the first thing to do, I've got two of these. Uh, I'm just gonna Google install all of the T-nuts. These are going straight into the channels in the aluminum extrusion. A lot easier to put all the T-nuts on the guide rail first rather than feeding them into the channel uh, and then trying to line up the holes. Uh, so this way I can just kind of guide each one and it's a pretty quick process. Um, sometimes when you're using these T-nuts, you can't pre-attach. You have to, say, slide them on first and then attach your whatever's going on. Um, but this saves a lot of time. If you're not using aluminum extrusion, then you might be doing a lot of drilling and tapping. I've seen people use self-tapping screws to attach these to a welded square tubing, steel tubing, and that works pretty well too. Uh, because you have so many attachment points, um, you'll notice that the, these are actually M5 or maybe a 1032, uh, and you know each one contributes to the strength of it. It's so. tempting to go ahead and tighten all those screws down, but you don't know for certain that it's gonna be square. In fact, it almost certainly won't I'm be. gonna start by inserting one of these little jigs on the, just the, on either end. I'll go ahead and tighten the last bolts, screws on either end. Uh, as I push it up against the jig. And there's the other side. So you can see there's uh, no air gap that's all closed up. Now the question is, we've raised this guide rail up maybe a, a eighth inch on either ends. What's it gonna look like in the middle? Is it well, let me loosen this and bring it to the middle where the problem would be most exaggerated. Here it's like a suspended beam and the gravity's pulling it in the middle. And sure enough, we have 20 or 30 thousandths of a gap. And that means that the machine would be riding lower in the center by 20 or 30 thousandths, which if you're cutting plywood, that's not a big deal. Um, but that is error that's, you know, would throw your Z-axis off if you were uh, milling precision stuff. So um, I am going to push it up. Well, first I'll kind of hand tight on the jig and then push it up that will take a lot of it out, but I'll bet if I slide it over, we now have it being suspended at two points again, and there might be a very, very slight gap that I can, yep, so I can feel that too. That's maybe 
only five thou there, but uh, that's another five thou. So um, at this point, I can just take the jig, may maybe every foot or something, and just go down the line. So I just keep running the jig down the length of the rail, and uh, this will guarantee that it's square to the aluminum extrusion. So now there's a the extrusion has its own tolerance, its own straightness behavior, um, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, now that everything is straight, set in place, now I can tighten all the bolts. Now, now it's my opinion that these bolts don't need to be overly torqued. You've got so many of them um, and at this point, you just got everything straight, so there's no sense in introducing any unbalanced, you know, bowing as a result of over-tightened bolts. So just snug them up, but don't overdo it. There's lots of, uh, all, each one of those bolts uh, will contribute to the strength. So this thing's not gonna come off. All right, so this is, Looking very good. All right, well, now I'm done with these jigs. So yeah, there's just some uh, tips on installing the linear guide rails, and they can be a little bit tricky because even though they seem real solid, they uh, everything's got a little bit of flex to it, and you just you unless you can really check it and know for sure, then it's probably not straight, so hope this video helped.